everybody, what's up? This is FS of the Stuff, and we are at the midnight launch for Fallout 4. Right here I have Luke in the building, also a member of the podcast. But Luke, you're running this event tonight. Yes, I'm running it and the people who are unfortunate enough to participate it into the ground. <laughs> Are you a big fan of Fallout Loot? I am. All right, cool bean. So it was it was kind of a, a perfect timing for you to take over on this one. Yeah, I mean, Fallout, I played my roommate's copy of Fallout 3 on the computer, and I easily put 100 hours into it in like a month. A month. A month. Top. Bang. I go hard. You go hard. I go hard. All right. So you're running this midnight release for us tonight for the Stuff Podcast, sponsored by GameStop. And Multiversal Q, and your Multiverse guide to the comic book multiverse, now and in podcast form. Heroes and Games. But what do you got in store for us tonight? Okay, so in the in the Fallout Wasteland, you never know what you're going to have to eat. And even candy can be dangerous. So right. we're going to have a candy eating contest. I got a whole bunch of weird flavors of taffy. Uh-huh. And it's going to be up to the competitors to eat it as fast as they can right, without right. dying. Without dying? Yeah. So there's death in this game. Hopefully not. <laughs> I don't think they'd invite us back if there was. No, no, no. What else you got? We're going to have Fallout Jeopardy. I made a beautiful new board for it. Uh huh. A reusable board for it. All right, all right. Cool beans. And then you have one more event for us. Yes. So our other semi sponsor is Rocket Fizz Downtown. Okay. And that's also where I got the taffy from. I got four people who are going to be going through a gauntlet of pop. Gauntlet? A gauntlet. Is this good tasty pop or? Some of it. And then we've got ranch flavor. I've heard about that. Apple Daddy has brought ranch to the house. Yes. So, <laughs> so it's it, the word on the street is we have over $250 worth of prizes to give away tonight. Yes, we do. Including a copy of Fallout <laughs> 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 Awesome. Awesome. So a lot of fun tonight. A lot of original content provided by The Stuff, Heroes and Games, Multiversal Q, and GameStop. So stay tuned. We'll be back. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's up? This is FS and we are back, still at the Fallout premiere, no, Fallout Midnight release at GameStop. And I have, oh my goodness, cosplayers in all their Fallout glory. That's right. What's your name? Angela. Angela? Zach. Zach. Uh, would you guys happen to be married? We are married, yes. Oh. <laughs> Those that geek together stay together. That's right. <laughs> So, uh, did you guys get these costumes? Are they homemade? Uh, half of it's made, half uh -huh. of it's uh, bought online. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the suits. Uh, yeah, we have to get a shout out to our aunt Bonnie. She uh -huh. sewed these, the, the numbers and the stripes on the suits. Awesome. Um, I made this out of an ammo belt, leather, and cardboard. It's cardboard? Yeah, it's cardboard underneath. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. And uh, this is these are both just Nerf guns. Uh, that we sand them down and painted and made them look distressed. And okay. then my belt is made out of foam core. Okay, well, I got I got to stop right there. What did the husband provide? Uh, <laughs> I sanded the guns down. That's okay. pretty much it. Down. He did the, the, the heavy machinery. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah. Cool beans. Cool beans. All right, yeah. that works. That works. Yeah. Uh, so how long have you guys been fans of Fallout? Oh, I mean, forever, really. I mean, I really Fallout 3 solidified my fandom for me. Okay. So, have you guys played the other two Fallouts? I haven't played the first or the second. I played the second one. Okay, so what All right. What made you jump into that Fallout? Like the ones that you did? We'll start with you. What made you jump into Fallout 3? Just the post-apocalyptic setting. That's, uh -huh. that's really, that's the main thing. That's, okay. Yeah, that's just it. Being full of manliness. Love, yeah. <laughs> that's right. And what pulled you into the Fallout saga? Well... I mean, I love the storylines. Uh -huh. I mean, even all the side quests and stuff. I'm, and I'm a graphic designer, so I really appreciate. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm honest too. All right. So I really appreciate like how the game looks, uh -huh. and you know, even though it's not the most amazing graphics, which 
I disagree with, honestly. Uh, um, it, that was really uh, amazing. Uh, uh, a great one. Uh, all right, cool beans. Well, this is FS. We're still at the Fallout Midnight release. We're less than an hour away for the game to come out. We got cosplayers, awesome contests. It's the Stuff Podcast. Come, come, make sure you're there with us next week. If you missed this event, we'll be doing Star Wars, and we still got more to come tonight. Later. Statues of Taffy here from one of our sponsors, Rocket Fizz. They are a variety of flavors. So, as fast as you can, you're going to be trying to finish your six pieces of taffy. Oh my god. You took the hard candy out, right? Yes. Okay. Gotta finish all six pieces of candy. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Yeah! Absolutely, yes. Good looking out, Mike. Yeah, I see you, LP. Let's go. What you expect? I'm always doing me. All right, this is Colt with the stuff, and we're interviewing the winner to the first contest, the candy eating contest, who beat me by split second. Split second. This is Ryan. Ryan, so you're here at the midnight release with, for Fallout 4. You having fun? Definitely. Right. So I take it you uh, play the game a little bit? Yeah. Uh, not as much as I would want to, but I love I love playing the games. They're they're amazing. Now, whenever you did the contest for the eating the candy, what was it that you won? Um, I won the uh, well, I forget the exact name. Uh, Lone Wanderer. Lone Wanderer uh, bobblehead. Oh, the Lone Wanderer uh, Funko. Yeah. Those are pretty nice. Now, when it, what was the first Fallout game you played? Uh, three. Three. Yeah. And what kind of player are you? Are you a stick to the mission kind of player, or are you a go, let's wander around, and do everything crazy kind of player? Oh, I get sidetracked by anything. I think I think everybody who plays it gets sidetracked. Well, this is it. this is Colt with the stuff here at the midnight release with Ryan. He was the winner of our first contest. So congratulations, Ryan, and uh, we'll be right back. So the name of the game is Fallout Trivia, as you can see by this very nice. <laughs> I think it's time for me to save the day. Grace, Grace, y'all know what it is. A hot shot. Let me heat it up. My girl think that I'm creeping, cause sometimes I leave her stuff. I'm thinking in my mind, I'm just trying to save the world. What's up? This is your boy, the Apple Daddy, here at the Fall Four uh, launch tonight, midnight launch. And we are here with Hunter. 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 How are you feeling right now? I'm pretty good. That's awesome. So I heard you uh, you were in a contest. You were in a Jeopardy contest. I mean, you basically cleaned house. So. Was the strategy? Were you just not, are you just that smart? Are you just knowledgeable? Uh, I need to know so I can, so I can win future Jeopardy events. Um, pretty much leading up to the game, I've just been super excited about this game for a long time. Because this is like, I love this game. And I've just been looking stuff up out of just like, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So how long have you been playing uh, all the Fallout games? Since Fallout 3 came out. And then, and then I went and bought the main new collection. And I've been playing Fallout 1, 2, Tactics. So, you, so you, I can tell that you beat such a fall fan. Yeah. Right? I'm assuming you're enjoying something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, I gotta ask, man. I mean, you know, I just like I'm just looking out for you. Oh, no, but no, no, make sure you got your. Did you get the regular pre-order? Did you get like? I got the regular pre-order, but I got the special guy. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, well, you can. That's the way you have your strategy. So you can go out in the wilderness and you know, set it all up. So cool, man. So I just want to thank you for coming out, man. And uh, yeah, this has been well, Apple Daddy with the stuff, and uh, we'll see you in a few. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, go rabbit, it's your birthday. Woo, woo, go, go. Come on, you're getting cream, guys. <laughs> Come on. That's a strong jaws, strong lips. He's on, no, no breaks. Oh, there you go, right there. Oh, that's quitting. No, keep going. Come on. There we go. Woo, woo. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 what, 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 what,
Ryan. Three. This is Luke, and we are still here at the Fallout 4 Midnight Release here at GameStop. And we are here with one of the winners of our contest tonight that I have specially devised to find out who can survive in the wasteland. What is your name, sir? Michael Perry. And Michael, you have the unfortunate victory of winning the pop drinking contest. Oh, uh, we're not How do you feel? Okay, it was good. First two. That third one. That was bad. The uh, first one that we had was passion fruit, like guava, desert fruit, which I mean, it makes sense that that would be good. Yeah, no, actually, I've had that one. I thought that was pretty good. And then the second one was Moxie Cola. It was different. No, it's not so kind of good. Uh, have you ever heard of the phrase, that kid is full of Moxie? Yes. That's what it comes from. Uh, I described it as Jägermeister without being alcohol. Oh, it was good. Yeah, that's basically what it was. So it didn't feel like alcohol. And then the last one was Grand Soda. Yeah, I got it. Smelled like meat, tasted like meat, it was disgusting. But you pounded all three of those down like you had no taste buds. That's not really bad. I just did it. I don't know how it just did it. A true wasteland survival. I can see it. <laughs> I bet you can. You got the eyes of a killer. We'll be back after this. Alright, everybody, we're about to get started with the raffle contest. We have a first place and a second place winner for this contest. First off, our sponsors for tonight's event. The Stuff Podcast Show. Woo! Woo! I like that. Multiversal Q. Woo! Yeah. GameStop. Woo! And Heroes and Games made this possible for you guys tonight. Oh, yeah. Woo! Be sure on Monday next week when Star Wars comes out, we are doing the same thing again. We have more games. We have more prizes, more trivia, almost $500 worth of stuff that we are giving out next week, including Star Wars Battlefront, courtesy of GameStop. All right, right here. I was not lying. This is a copy. Well, this is $64. How much, Chris? 34 cents to purchase your copy of Fallout 4. So my advice to you, get your money back. And then buy something else. <laughs> Keep it in the GameStop family. <laughs> Woo! First place, we'll get a bottle cap pack of candy. Yay. Three pop That's figures. Woo! Our second place gets a pop figure and some more bottle cap uh, candy. Bottle caps. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Dusty. Oh, first place gets the love, baby. First place gets the love. Can you take that love home? Ryan, help me out. I am shaking that up. All right. Not that bad boy. So we will start with second place. Never 
changes. The We Change loves here tonight at the Fallout 4 pre-release. Yeah! Woo! Did you guys have fun tonight? <laughs> and we'll see you at Star Wars Battlefront. May the Force be with you.